Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Mystical and today I'm bringing you a video on a question I get quite often on stream and I see uh, sometimes in the Monk Mondays and that is how to use Thunder Focus T. Now Thunder Focus T is a very crucial spell to the Mistweaver rotation and it is very important to know how to use it. So in this video, I'm going to do my best to explain all the layers to Thunder Focus T, how to maximize your healing output, how to um, have a good mana with it and... Uh, just everything about Thunder Focus T. With that said, let's jump right into it. So there are multiple layers to Thunder Focus T and maximizing it. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually what is Thunder Focus T. Thunder Focus T is a 30 second cooldown ability and it empowers one of the next abilities. Enveloping Mist, Renewing Mist, Vivify, or Rising Sun Kick. Enveloping Mist is a instant strong heal. Renewing Mist increases the duration of the Renewing Mist. Vivify costs no mana, and then Rising Sun Kick cooldown would be reduced by 9 seconds. Very good for playing where the, when you're using Where the Crane, but also really good in other situations. So that is Thunder Focus T and what it is. The next layer to Thunder Focus T is the talent Focus Thunder. This empowers the next two spells from Thunder Focus T. This means that you can have one use one empowered ability for instant heal with enveloping, and then you can use it for uh, Vivify that costs no mana. So that's the next layer of, Viv of Thunder Focus T. The final layer and the most important layer to Thunder Focus T is Secret Infusion. This was added in, uh, I think they're, I think 8.2, this trait, Secret Infusion. And what it does is based on the first charge that you use of Thunder Focus T, you get a stat increase. And what that means is with the talent, as I just explained, Focus Thunder gives you two, um, two charges of uh, an empowered spell for Thunder Focus T. But for Secret Infusion, it only applies to the first spell that you use. Pretty much, if I use Soothing Mist, and then I use Enveloping Mist, and I get the stats for Enveloping Mist, it does not refresh when I use the second charge. So you only get the stats from the first charge uh, from the spell that you use. Now, a breakdown of the stats that you get is the following. Enveloping Mist gives you a bunch of crit. Renewing Mist gives you haste. Vivify gives you mastery. And Rising Sun Kick gives you versatility. Now, there are... These can be used in very various situations, um, and you're going to be using spells based on situations. So I'm going to do my best to break down what to use and when, and uh, go as in-depth as I can. So there was a few ways I was going to break down this video, but I think I'm just going to do this video by going through the different charges of Thunder Focus T, and this is going to be what to use for the first charge. So as I explained earlier, the first charge gives you the stat increase from Secret Infusion. And Secret Infusion is what makes um, Thunder Focus T so good and a little bit complicated. But I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you guys through it. Don't worry. I trust me, it was confusing at first, but I got you. You're in good hands. So again, crit, haste, mastery, versatility. Right off the bat, enveloping mist and renewing mist, those stats are kind of like dead stats for monks in PvP. In PvE, they're fine, they work well. In PvP, not so much. What you're going to be want to be focusing on is the Vivify and the versatility you get from Vivify and Rising Sun Kick. So the first situation and pretty much the only situation where you're going to use Rising Sun Kick is when you're getting trained. So if you're getting trained by RMP, um, TSG, you know, a double melee, they're swapping you. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick. And what that does is it gives you 22, 32 versatility. Obviously, it's lower than PvP. And it makes my versatility 49%. I take 20, almost 25% less damage, which is absolutely crucial. This can help you live long enough for your port if you don't have a port or mobility. This can help you live long enough to get that life cocoon if you're only a few seconds away. It's really good if you use it right before stuns because the duration of Secret Infusion is 8 seconds. So that's really good. And then for pretty much every other situation, your first charge is going to be Vivify. Always. Um... And I'll explain why. Vivify gives you mastery. And we can talk about our mastery. For those of you who are not aware what our mastery is. Our mastery is Gust of Mists. Um, what it means is when we use Renewing Mist, Enveloping Mist, and Vivify, there's a second heal on top of that from our mastery, which heals for 17,000 for me. Might be more, might be less for you. So the more mastery you have, the more instant healing you get. So let me explain that. Let me Thunder Focus T. So right now, my mastery heals for 17,000. If I Thunder Focus T, Vivify, it now goes up to almost 34,000 healing. So that means if I Renewing Mist myself, I get healed for 34,000. If I Renewing Mist again, it heals for 34,000. 
So not only is this saving you mana, it's the healing output is absolutely absurd. Um, it, it's crazy. So let me just break it down again. For the first charge of Thunder Focus T, where you're going to want the stats. Oh, I also forgot to mention that Thunder Focus uh, um, Vivify also costs no mana. So... Um, if you're looking to save mana versus any comps that are going to be dampening or, you know, Demon Hunters, Wind Walkers, you know, all, all those comps that are dampeners, you're going to want to be using Vivify as well. But it's most important for the, um, the stats and it costs no mana. So uh, let me break down the situations again. If you're getting trained, you're going to want a Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick for the versatility. This can help you. Oh, the duration is 10 seconds, not 8. That's my bad. Um, this can help you live long enough. It can help you live through a stun that you maybe you don't want to trinket or maybe you don't have trinket. Um, it'll help you live long enough for maybe port or a life cocoon if you have it soon. And then for every other situation, you, you're going to want to use Vivify. The mastery is just so much healing. It, it's it's huge for monks. On top of that, Vivify, when used with Thunder Focus, it costs no mana. So you're not only healing a lot, you're using very little mana and uh that's pretty much the first charge of thunder focus t all right so now that we have our our stat increase from our first charge we also have a second charge of thunder focus t remember we have focus thunder so we get two charges of thunder focus t with empowered spells we have two empowered spells and um the second charge is a little bit up to you really it's it's you can use almost any of the of the um empowered spells because again i'm going to repeat it just so no one gets confused you don't get a stat increase from the second charge of thunder focus t you only get it from the first so the second one is a little bit more versatile it just depends on your situation i'm going to run through each one and and just explain uh, as best i can so for example if you if we just use thunder focus t vivify we have a ton of mastery right now i'm talking we have so much mastery we have 188 percent mastery we're healing for a lot you could use Enveloping Mist if your teammate is low. So Enveloping Mist is really good on the second charge um, because again you have 36. You have Enveloping Mist hot. You have the Empowered Enveloping Mist heal, and then you have the Gust of Mist uh, mastery. So you're healing for 100k for this Enveloping Mist easily, and you're gonna want to use this when your teammate is low or maybe around 30, 40 percent. Uh, in between crowd control also works pretty well. You can use it on yourself, but I, I highly recommend to save mana. Do not use enveloping mist on yourself. If you if you can port LOS, just renewing mist and then thunder focus to vivify on yourself. And then after that, if you're playing against a dot cleave, you can use the renewing mist. It extends the duration of a renewing mist. However, if you're playing against a team with purges, for example, shadow priests, resto shaman, arcane or fire ma any mage really. The empowered renewing mist is almost wasted because they're gonna purge it. So it it's really only good versus Destro Warriors, you know, teams like that that have they that don't have purges, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. Cause you don't want to waste an empowered renewing mist, a 30 second cooldown on a purge, pretty much is what I'm trying to say. So back to it. If you just empowered Vivify, you're most likely going to be using it on an Enveloping Mist if you need the big heal. If you if you absolutely need the big heal and you need healing right now, use it on Enveloping Mist. It's good for to use Renewing Mist against teams without purges. Because uh, like I said, you don't want to waste uh, an empowered Renewing Mist just for it to get purged. And yeah, that's pretty much the only situation where I really use Empowered Renewing Mist. Vivify, this is pretty much the, the one I use the most often. I use Enveloping Mist and Vivify the most often. Vivify, uh, on the second charge, so double Vivify, is really good to conserve mana. And because Vivify does a ton of healing with the Mastery, um, it's really good. For those of you who don't know, I'm just quick quick tidbit um, that's not really related. Vivify heals people that have Renewing Mist on them. So if you have Renewing Mist on all your teammates and you just empower and you do double Vivify, you're healing all of your teammates for no mana, literally zero mana. So that's really important. I'm gonna do a video on how to conserve mana and that's gonna be a huge chunk of it. And then the last one is Rising Sun Kick. That's good too if you want, if you're getting trained or if they if you heal and then they swap to you, that's also pretty good. So let me break it down for you guys again. The second charge you're gonna be mostly using on Enveloping Mist and Vivify. Um, v Enveloping Mist is good when your teammates are low or you're low and you can't pour it. Vivify is good for conserving mana. Renewing Mist is good versus teams without Purge, and they have Dots, so Destralock Warrior. Uh, I would maybe play it 
No, you don't want to play it versus Shadow Priest. Yeah, pretty much Death Sherlock. And then Rising Sun Kick is good if they're still training you. And, you and I don't know, you want to do damage. It's, it's good for damage, but you're most likely not using Rising Sun Kick on the second charge. Because you're not getting any stats from it. So, it, it's just not worth it. So, the final breakdown I want to do is just show you guys pretty much what you're going to be doing. If you want to conserve mana, you're going to use Vivify into Vivify. That's for conserving mana. And if your teammates are at relatively healthy uh, health... If you need a big heal on a teammate, Vivify into Enveloping Mist is will get the job done. It does a ton of healing, conserves your mana with one Vivify, that's free. If you're getting trained, you're going to want to use Thunder Focus C, renew, um, Rising Sun Kick, and you can follow that up with pretty much anything. It'll probably be a Vivify because versatility does increase your healing, so it can be an Enveloping Mist or Vivify. And then the only other weird one is uh, at the beginning of the arena, Mostly because nothing really happens in the first couple of seconds. I use Thunder Focus T, Renewing Mist on both my teammates. Just for the Empowered Renewing Mist. So it's rolling if I get put into crowd control. And um, yeah, that's pre those are pretty much the only situations that you're going to be using Vivify. I'll, I'll say it again just to dr just drill it home, you know. And just this is going to be like a TLDR. Thunder Focus T is crucial. You have two charges of it. And depending on what spell you use, you get an Empowered Spell and a stat. You're going to be wanting to get versatility from Rising Sun Kick and mash or Mastery from your um, Vivify. It o You only get stats from the first charge of Thunder Focus T because you have two charges. So, in most games, if you need to conserve mana, always, if you're not getting trained, use the first charge on Vivify. If you're getting trained, use Rising Sun Kick. In any other situation, use the first charge on Vivify. The second charge is a little bit more, more versatile. If you want a big heal, use Enveloping Mist. If you want to conserve mana, use Vivify. And uh, if you want to do damage, do Rising Sun Kick. If you're playing against a team without purges, you can use Renewing Mist. And that is pretty much it. If you guys got any questions, let me know. Um, I try to break. I try to make the this video into little bite-sized chunks, so it, it really drills the the point home about how important Thunder Focus T is and how and when to use it. That's pretty much it. If you got again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you need any clarification on anything, please let me know. I'm happy to answer your questions. That's 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 everything. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you later.